today we're gonna to take this old rusty gear and we're gonna restore it on our S33 and turn it back into a functional workpiece. Now in order to do that, I'm gonna to have to regrind my magnetic chuck and then I'm gonna to have to manually take the corrosion off using chemicals from Home Depot. Now I'm gonna take the corrosion off all of the surfaces and then regrind the critical surfaces that way, when it goes back into the piece of machinery, it looks like a brand new workpiece. So in order to make this a functional gear, what I want to do is I want to locate it inside the magnetic chuck and then go ahead and indicate it in. That way I can grind the critical surfaces. Now the critical surfaces are going to be the shoulders to make sure it's not running out and that the ID and OD are concentric. Once I grind that, we'll have a fully functional repaired gear. From this step, I need to go ahead and grab a stone and stone off my mag chuck and my part. So let's break down exactly what I'm checking here. So my ID is indicated in, that means it's gonna be running concentric to the OD. Now my face is running out within a thousand. That's gonna be perfect and honestly a lot better than what I expected coming off of this gear. It's running out about a thousand. So that means as this gear is spinning, it's almost wobbling. With the grinder, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a thousand to two thousand off to clean that face up. That way when that gear is rotating, it's running perfectly true to this main shaft and everything's in line and running perfectly. So now with my ID, OD, and faces all running true, I can use my quick set so I can get into grinding. So what is quick set? On the S33, once you calibrate your grinding wheels and you touch them off to your cross, and then you come back in and probe that cross in the exact same position that you touched your grinding wheel to, now your probe is calibrated to your wheel. So in that terms, you can go ahead and probe your part in X and Z and go ahead and start grinding. So I just finished the first side, now I need to flip the part and grind the two critical surfaces on the other side, and quick set's gonna make that process a lot easier.
just turned what might have been scrap back into a functional workpiece. We did all of that with United Grinding's S33 and Tearless OD and ID grinding wheels. So if you want to see something else ground and polished back into original form, make sure you go ahead and leave a comment, like, and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.